Hi YouTubers. Hello you brewers. Hello you beer lovers. There in the old tiny shed. Uh, I've been suffering with a bad back. So I didn't do a video last week. So forgive me. Anyway, today we're going to have a cheeky beer. We're going to have the old Dujons. Right, this is the last one I'm doing on it. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to tell you what I might do different next time. Anyway, let's have a little pour out. Get my glasses on, see what I'm doing. Here's we go. Turn it up. Yeah, I think it's a couple of months old now. Uh, I'm about nearly over halfway through it. So I'll be doing another brew soon. I'll be doing another brew from Cross My Loof. And I forget the name of it. So I will let you know next time what my brew in next. Anyway, it's looking good. How are you all doing everyone? Hope you're fine. Doing well. Here it goes. Getting there. As we go. Looking nice. The old Kent Session glass I got. And the old Kent Sessions in Darford. Which was very good. Anyway. Don't smell of a lot. Anyway, cheers. All the best. Let's give it a go. <coughs> Very nice. You can taste the English hops coming through. But the bitterness is virtually all gone it's not that bitter I wish it was a little bit more bitter uh, it's an IPA from Scotland the Dujons well that's what I'll call it it's been a very nice beer I'll brew it again if if I was if someone asked if I brewed it again what would I do now I think I would dry up it I never dry up it last time but next time I make it, I'm going to dry up it. I'm going to put 15 grams of each of the ops in on dry up it. Uh, I can't, I can't remember the ops. Uh, East Kent, East Kent Goldings was one, and I can't remember the others. Anyway, next time I'm going to put 15 grams of dry up it in and I think that'll really bring it the hot flavour through. Anyway, hope everyone had a nice Father's Day, which I did. Anyway, my daughter came in, give me my card, and she went, Here, Dad, is a brood dog punk IBA. So I gets hold of it, stuck it in the fridge, left it in there. I thought, oh, at least she got me a can of beer. And she says to me about two days later, how'd you like your new candle? I said, what new candle? She went, the, the brew dog punk IPA can is a candle. And I've had it in the fridge two days. So uh, we're gonna give that a little, uh, i light it up, see what it smells like. There she goes. Don't know where she got it from. There she is. Brew Dog Punk IPA Candle. Ain't getting no smell at the moment. I wonder if it smells like Punk IPA. That'd be nice. Oh, I love that smell. Have the ops. Oh. It's got like a stick as a uh, wick. 
there, yeah. Very nice. Can't really smell a lot. Anyway, cheers everyone. This beer's going down a treat. Nice. Anyway, sorry it's a bit short. I'm gonna sit down here, finish this beer off. Just gonna watch a bit of YouTube. Watch a bit of you lot out there, which I love, all you brewers, doing your thing. Slurp the Dave, I say hello to him. Thanks very much, mate. And uh, rate my beer, top man, Paul. Great, I love watching him. Him and his lovely wife, Michelle. And uh, anyway, that's about all. Sit down here, check your beer. I'm gonna have uh, the old Goose Medway after this. IPA, I think it's 4.1, I'm really enjoying it, I've got about three pints left, absolutely wonderful, and on here I've got the old Stella Atois, and it, which is nice, it's 5% one, you'll get yourself some of that, anyway that's all uh, everyone, so don't forget Press the old button. Come on, gentlemen. Drink up. Last orders. Ain't got no homes to go to. Let's get out of here.